I am very excited for today's podcast. Why? Because I found this list with men's health, the 16 random ways to turn her on and get her in the mood. And reading this list and knowing you as well as I do, I I know that none of these, none, not a single one of these would do anything for you but make you angry. I don't even like that you're saying that. Like, these are my thoughts he has. Will sometimes get a pass when intern John. Is fogging up the mirror and thinking in the shower. And sauce. Yeah, I'll give you two of them right now. Okay. Hug. No. They're, okay. You don't like hugs. I do not like hugs. Holding hands. Why also does that not turn fan. somebody on? Like what? Well, we'll get to the whole list. I thought okay. that's like one of those things. There's a great episode on The Office where, um, actually, there's a question about this in Social 3, too, kind of, okay. where um, Jim intentionally tries to give Andy the bad advice for Pam. Because he knows really well. I yeah. could do that easily for you. Yeah, I I'd be think like, listen, so. Shelby loves it when you explain to her how to do things because she doesn't know how. Yeah, yeah. Shelby loves it when you just, like, just assume she doesn't know how to do anything. Please. And over-explain things to her because she needs you to over-explain things. I do, yeah. And that will be, that's, and then also accidentally cut her off on a, when you're walking next to each other. Oh, my God. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> it's like, I know I'm short, but, like, don't walk next to me then. Did you notice know my wearing the dang, dangly earring? Oh, wow. Look at I, that. I lost the other one. What do you mean you lost it? It fell off because these ones, the, this one, by the way, we're on the video today. Yeah. Um, they like, they turn off. So it's like halves. And I dropped a half in the trash can. Oh, that's sucks. And so it's gone forever. Can you get a new one? Probably. I would imagine so. Yeah. Maybe get a new one. Well. I mean, I don't, I like it. I like the little dangly thing. This was this morning though. So that it's been a, it's been a day. Oh no. What's, what's wrong? Uh, I had this really weird dream uh, this morning that I was, I'm very excited for Haunting by Manor. Yeah. Very yeah, excited. This they Friday. They tweeted at you. They did. They said, don't go in the lake. And I was yeah. going to respond, oh, you can't stop me. But then I was like, no, I don't want to be scared. I had a dream that I was in the house. Like I, I've had some vivid dreams the last couple of days. Probably okay. Hopefully it's a good sign that I was in. I saw the kids. I saw like little Nell and the other kids. I'm like, oh, and I look around. I'm like, oh, I'm in the Bly Manor house. Ooh. Here I am. And then the best was in my dream. I go, I wonder if just maybe. And I pause and I jump and I can start flying. And oh God. <laughs> it was just like, what? You know what? In a scary movie, I wonder if I can fly. But it's also like, John, you're clearly in a dream, bro. You can do anything you want in the dream. <laughs> I I, but the fact, I legit go, I wonder if, just maybe, then I flew. Was it fun? Did you have fun? It was legit. I don't remember too much about the, the actual house itself. Um, okay. Because then I woke up. No spoilers, though. No. Man. Not that I can okay. think of. All right. Well, uh, the cool. The Amazon one is out as of now. Bloomhouse or something like that. Bloomhouse. You showed me the preview for that. I don't know. That looks a little gross. I saw blood. I don't like blood. Yeah, it's um, it's they sent me a puzzle to the radio station. Oh, really? It's That's like a, cool. A thousand piece puzzle, and it's like oh. I again having not watched the trailer. I didn't yeah. watch the trailer. I sent it to you. Yeah, I watched having it. Having just read like the, the sentence on the on the um yeah puzzle. It's like. Five families, five stories in one house, but they don't involve each other. Something like that. Oh, okay. Like simultaneous. It's like there was that Netflix uh, Levels was the thing for a little bit. That was like really huge, but it's about like the jail where it's like they're all in the same jail, but based on what level you are, it's like what, how much food do you get? Oh, I, I saw the preview or like the trailer for it. I didn't watch it. It looked gross. It also wasn't in English. It was it was oh. dubbed. And like, I don't mean to be American, but I feel <laughs> like, don't you kind of feel like if you're Netflix and you think something's that big just do it in english i mean maybe it was just so big and i mean you would have to redo the whole thing i think it was fr- french but like wouldn't it almost be wor- like worth it though because it's so hard to like when you're watching you're like wait it's not matching because like my internet's slow or what's going on it's like yeah. people that watch narcos i can't do it because of subtitles i've never seen narcos i mean i think that maybe netflix thinks it's trending so great because remember um i started watching that uh i don't know what it was called but it was really good i there was literally like <laughs> oh that one <laughs> no it was it was an indian scary movie though it was like oh, a was show a typewriter? 
The, yeah, the typewriter. Yeah, yeah. And that was so good. I didn't actually end up finishing the, it, though, because I got really scared. Because that's how good it was? But it was really good. It just really freaked me it out. It was hard to follow, it too. It's because, again, like, the the words not matching up. I don't know. But I think that, like, the show itself, like, after watching it, because at first I was like, I don't really want to, like, have to read these subtitles. So I had to find my glasses to watch the show, yeah. and I found them. Can I just make a point? Anybody watching this right now who's like, no, nah, I can handle lip dubbing, well, we're going to stop. Matching our audio to the video for these videos. No. And we'll see how much you enjoy them. Because, because once I mess up matching up our, our lips and, you know, all that stuff, and I got a lot of DMs, so we're not doing that. It's a pain in the ass. You would think that, like, at this point, iMovie yeah. would, like, in 2020, it's it's not 95. The, it, it, I don't understand it. I don't. Because when we recorded on my camera, the the audio and the... um. The audio and us talking matched perfectly. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to fix it. But this time, whenever you do it on like a phone, or even if I did it on a, on a different camera, because I've done it before with my makeup videos, I still have to match it up. It was a big pain in the ass when I did the online special because like, and here's the other thing, because you're thinking like, listen, oh, you match it up once. Like, no. no. There's the, like, you match it up at the beginning, right? But there's times throughout the video where it, it unmatches, which it makes literally no sense. I don't understand it. It's just some weird glitch with the system. And if you go on YouTube, you can Google how to fix it um, because I'm well, not going to explain it now because <laughs> it's kind of it's boring. A lot, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, are we in the house yet? Yeah, take that shirt off. I'm sorry. I'm, it's really hot in here. Thank um, you. So I I just feel like I don't know if it's just this weekend that I just wasn't as motivated, but also I was writing a paper and I I mean I was putting together stuff. Um, and then this week I've just I've been very busy. I just I scheduled a lot this week for some reason, um, which is fine. I don't mind it. It's just I feel like I've just been like on the go all week, and which is okay. But yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm actually I decided that I'm gonna get my grandfather's old couch, which is in storage, delivered. Um, so hopefully that will be here um, sometime this week because it's literally like right in Tyson's corner. What? So where's that one gonna go? I'm just gonna I don't know what's going on with my couch, and Wayfair is not calling me back, even though I've so, called. But twice. what are you gonna do in that when that other couch comes? I could sell it. I could sell it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Okay. And plus, my, my aunt's trying to figure out what to do with the couch. And so, if I end up liking it, then I'll just keep it. And have you seen the couch? I have. I have. I've slept on it. What if you don't it. like that couch? I, I don't mind it. I just don't really quite remember it 100% because I slept on it once this summer, but I didn't sleep on it again. So, you want to know what's funny? Is Hi. um my child, Chewy, you've heard of him. Yeah. yeah. He's usually a pain when we're recording, but it's almost like he knows that when this comes out Wednesday. Yeah. So, Wednesday, I'm going to leave for work. As I do. Yeah. You're going to come here, like, you know, like whatever, six, seven. Yeah. He's going to get very excited to see you. And he's yeah. going to think that you guys were having a, uh, you're having a day. Yeah, he is. Yeah, we're having a day. And then you're running the vet to get his I know. Good. It's not going to be good at all. I am nervous. I know it's going to be expensive. It's going to suck. It's going to be, but like it has to get done. I feel bad. Yeah, and I, I, I get a lot of crap because obviously I have you bring them, but the other option is, like, they do overnight, but, like, that would, he would be oh, hella be anxious. Oh, he'd so sad. Yeah, so, uh, you know, tomorrow, or, well, when this is out, it'll, it'll, get to he'll see already have been there. I'm nervous for the guy. He just. Oh, he'll be okay. But, like, at least, though, the reason he had to go to the cardiologist whenever, like, a month ago was mm -hmm. so he can get his teeth in because his breath is kicking. Yeah, his, so his for, breath this is, is um bad. This is his birthday present for me. So Aww, that's so I'm nice. Also, this, this is my Wednesday schedule. So okay. do the show, kick ass, obviously. Obviously. Go to the gym, kick ass, obviously. Get swole. Yeah, then I have to go get COVID tests, kick that ass, obviously, yeah. because uh, hopefully going to be on the ice this weekend. That's exciting. Cross your fingers, and then... Uh, Hopefully the timing works out right where Chewy will be done around then. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to hang out at your place. Okay, yeah. Because it's going to be the school's right there. I do need help moving a rug. It's not exactly what I said. I because said I it's like hang weird out. because I want the rug down a little bit, but my bed's on top of it, so I don't really know. I can't, I'm, I'm having trouble moving it. But I'll just come from the gym, so I'll be sweaty. And also, it's shoulder day tomorrow. Well, today, I guess, when this is out. So, yeah. um I don't know how strong I'm going to be. Can I just say, too, you were, <laughs> you, you were really offensive, like, a week ago with moving. Yeah, your boy's working out. You probably, you're watching the video. I mean, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you okay? You if like I, if I flex clock. too hard, I will rip this shirt off, and this will become a PG-13 podcast. What are you trying to do? There's you, a little bit of Yeah, because I had to right stretch it out. So there was um, a day, I think it was last <laughs> week, where you asked... 
you had some tables come. I'm like, you need help. And he go, I don't know if you can carry it. And I said. It was a drawer. Yeah. It was and two I was, drawers. I was like, what do you mean you know if I can carry it? I'm like, well, my dad could barely move it. Yeah. And I was just like, huh? But you grow up and you think your dad is like the strongest person ever. Absolutely. So obviously, you see my dad struggle to put these two drawer things into my car. I was like, man, I don't think you're going to be able to do it yourself and <laughs> carry but, it up three, <laughs> three flights of stairs. Yeah, it wasn't easy. And this is a knock on your dad. But like, I think that like, <laughs> just, as an adult, I don't think I have the dad's strength yet. I don't have the, the new balances and jean shorts that dads have. But I was just, I was so thrown off like well my dad couldn't do it and i was like i'm not 12 i don't know I, I mean i think if you're listening you get it you're like yeah my dad is super strong and i would think the same thing they're gonna say if you listen you get it john can't lift anything you can barely lift himself up in the morning oh that's sad Are you so, okay you, i'm you just saying it? you could be telling people how strong i've been you have himself. been very strong Thank you've you. been very 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 helpful i've been telling everyone how helpful you you've been and it's not even sometimes just like do you need anything today and like that's been great I really appreciate it. Do you need anything today? Sorry, we had to do this. Welcome Thank to you. the Thought Shower with Intern John. Ah, this is like so uncomfortable already. Like, I don't want to talk about this. No, <laughs> no. Men's Health has a 16. Because we did we did this like last week, flipped around though. It was, you had the list of like ways to make him um, not urge you, but it was like crave you. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the flip of that. Kind of. 16 ways to get her in the mood. <laughs> Sorry. And I, I just know, I know you very well, and though Chewie's looking at himself right now, not the Ew. audience we're going for, Ew. that none of these will work for you. Okay. Number one, hold hands. I don't like holding hands. My my hands right now are clammy. Like, imagine me holding someone else's hands. Feel them. Oh, God. Ew. <laughs> Why? I'm hot. Like, I feel hot. Yeah, I don't want to hold anyone's hands. Fellas. <laughs> Can't do that now anyway, because COVID. Yeah. Number, number two, another no for Shelby. Gaze into each other's eyes. I don't like making eye contact. It, it makes me uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. They say eye gazing can be very sensual and a great way to increase arousal. No, I feel like the only time I ever really make eye I make eye contact sometimes, but if I do it, I feel like if you're gonna gaze, like I'm glaring at you. Like, I would glare at you. Okay. What's number three? Moving on. Stop. You look, you look me in the eyes. I am. I'm saying, like, I feel like if I'm gazing at someone in the eye, I'm, I'm actually just glaring at you. Like, I feel uncomfortable doing it. What if I do this with my eyebrows? It doesn't, it doesn't help at all. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. <laughs> your hand's getting clammier? You keep <laughs> rubbing them off with Sorry. your hands, bro. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Your body's shutting down, dude. I don't we, think so. It just, it. I feel like it's hot in here. You got the 25,000 miles and you're just done. What's that mean? Like a car. You hit uh, the oil. You got to check. That's the checker oil. That's not. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Number three. Hug. Yeah. I'm too small <laughs> for a hug. <laughs> I've never not had an unawkward hug. You've dug. You've ducked out of hugs. I have. I have. I've, I'm very good at ducking from uh, a hug. Number four is give a massage. I'm gonna be honest. Though, if a dude ever offers you for a massage, he, he, he's going right there. Like there's, there's no like platonic massage. Yeah, I feel like I so mean, that'll crack your back before I think. Yeah, but you're not very good. You're like, I think I'm gonna hurt you. Yeah, because I don't. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like cracking sounds. I'll just like push down really hard and run away. Like that's literally what you do. You're yeah. like, you're like, I think I'm gonna hurt you, and then you run away. <laughs> well, um, I think yeah, like a massage would turn me on, but I would have to like. Can you not use that language? Be a lady. I would have to already, <laughs> like, be, like, dating you. Well, yeah, not some random dude on the street. I know that. I'm just saying. Uh, number five is send flirty texts throughout the day. Like, can't wait for you to get home tonight. Yeah, that would definitely work. Okay. Yeah, that'd be fine. How about... I can't. I feel <laughs> awkward saying this next one. Okay. <laughs> Tell me you're going to get it. It's going to be so sexy having your naked body next to mine. That's what the text is? That's an example of a flurry text. That to me just okay, sounds like it murder you. That literally sounds like it's from like a Cosmo article. Yes. <laughs> don't don't say that. Don't. Um, they say uh, water is a good thing. So take a stroll along a beach, lake, or river. Okay. Next to a bird bath, fill up the tub. Is that, is that the still with the, the text? 
No, this is a different one. Oh. This is, so they say studies show that simply being in proximity of water creates a relaxing effect that may kill or, or may calm any libido killing jitters. Oh, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? I guess that that would be fine. Like you go to like a little park and feed the ducks or something. Sure. I mean, I don't know. That sounds fun. Seek thrills is number seven. Oh, like if you go like skydiving or something. Roller coasters, zip lines, scary movies can all be a turn on. Yeah, scary movies, I think, is probably for sure. It could get your heart racing. Oh, okay. Yeah, scary movies, but I don't, I can't watch scary movies. Like, I feel like I'm always just covering my face. So maybe like a roller coaster, that'd be fun. Can you ride roller coasters? Yes, I can ride roller coasters. Okay, the the, the train that goes around the park doesn't count. Oh, you're so funny. What park? What park has a train? <laughs> the, like, the, like the monorail. What's a monorail? It's a singular rail system. <laughs> it goes know. around the park. So what park? Really, Disney has monorails. Oh, oh. Holy. I'm thinking of like like Downs Park or something. Like that's like a Downs it's park? a park in Maryland. It's a nice big park in Pasadena. At the very end of the peninsula. Lots of water. Okay. <laughs> Number eight. What? Break out a cucumber. For what? Like are you gonna be cutting it? Like staring at him? In the kitchen. <laughs> like, like, no, don't be dirty, Shelby, okay? I'm just, I'm just, Certain <laughs> sense trigger sexual arousal. Okay, cucumbers remind me of sixth grade gym class when you were spraying cucumber, melon, bath, and body work spray everywhere. Well, they say that the this doctor that did the research says the smell of cucumber and licorice lead increased blood flow in a certain area. <laughs> I don't believe that. I, I don't okay, know what I, you say. I, I'm just saying that wouldn't work for me, okay? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm you also being, need vegetables, though. Is a cucumber a vegetable or a fruit? You don't need fruit either. I'm just asking. You will, your diet is infuriating. I'm. I've like been we getting had Chipotle the other day, better. and what did you have? Oh, I'll tell you. You had soup. You that had not soup. you had like chicken, cheese, sour cream. Yeah, and then the hot sauce. Aren't I enough hot sauce? <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> and number eight, feed your fantasies. What, okay, like how? Say so women think about relations 19 times a day. Um, so there's something they're dying to try, but they're scared to bring up. Oh, yeah. Covers. Like if you had mentioned it or something in a conversation and then you got back to your house or you met up with the person and then they like had it as a surprise to try. Like clowns? If you're into that. Like a surprise party? I dated a guy that was into clown x-rayed stuff. I didn't, I didn't do it. I just found it on his phone. <laughs> I just found it. <laughs> be like, Sorry. Is that why you have the wig and the honky nose in your car, just in no, case? <laughs> no, I forgot. Like that should probably clarify that. Like right, I just was not involved. Regular adult clothes is like clown clothes for you. That you is not true. In. Just because this shirt is too big doesn't mean anything. Number ten is dim the lights. I mean, yeah, but sometimes dimming the lights makes me sleepy. Well, just say they say get sweaty. You're already doing that. Oh, I guess because the pheromones. Oh, so yeah, like yeah. working out? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think that that would definitely work. Uh, pick up a mop. Couples that clean together report more relationship satisfaction. I just think you probably just do it yourself. Um, But I can see that if you're, um, if you, I don't know, maybe you just start living together or the other person is helping you out and then you see them help being helpful. I think that that could turn you on and be like, I really appreciate this person. That's really sexy what they're doing. Yeah. I don't know. See this mop? Imagine if it was, never mind. Stop it. Schedule a sex fast. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. All right. We're knocking it in in November. Like, is that what we're doing? Yeah, like? no, that's the no, no, uh, not November. Oh, God. Uh, get some sleep. And that's boring. Okay. Uh, watch a romantic movie. Draft I, a- <laughs> I think that the, the romantic movie could turn somebody on. What romantic movie do you like? I don't know. I'm just exactly. saying that I think that if you watch like a cute romantic movie together. Like what? I can't think of one off the top of my head because every movie I feel like that I watch that's like semi romantic. Titanic. Okay, no, obviously it's not. It's romantical. It's there's romantic parts, but it's very sad. Well, don't ruin. It. I haven't seen the ending yet. No, stop I only it. I only have the first VHS tape. It's I been seen out for like twenty five years. Yeah, but I've I've avoided Wikipedia just so I don't know how it ends. Uh huh. It's <laughs> horrible. Last right. one is I don't know. draft a, a wish list, of like things you want to try. Oh, that could be fun. And then you like check them all off together. I don't know that that would like turn me on. It'd be, but maybe. Well, I would hope you check them off together. If you check them <laughs> off separately, like, well. Ah. Already tried that with Steve. Sorry, ah. Brad. Okay. All right. Well, while the, while the cricket's play. 
uh, October so 23rd and 24th, the Arlington Draft House. Mm-hmm. The uh, Saturday show was almost sold out. Yes. Um, so very, if you buy tickets, awesome. Oh, thank you too. We talked to Megan on the show this week, who was going to go to the Appy Hour, but of course it got canceled. Aww. So, um, but October 23rd and 24th, mm-hmm. Arlington Draft House, internjohncomedy.com. Do it. Raise the money for the Fisher House, which by the way, today is the day. Four years oh, ago yeah. today. Congrats, uh, man. Was the first show at the, um, Jesus, what the hell is at called? The, oh my God. Anth- not the anthem. No. Um, Holy shit. Starts sh- with an S. Strathmore. Strathmore. No, it's, but yeah. it was like it's, it was the smaller one though, so it's yeah. it something different. But um, Amp by Strathmore. Oh, okay. Um, damn, I just missed that whole thing. So this was uh yeah, not to get sentimental, but I can remember the first show. I remember not having. Tr- I remember when uh oh, I could we could call D. Maybe we'll call him later this week. Where I get to the venue and D, it's the first time I'm meeting D and Kyle, and mm-hmm. D was like, "So where are you trying out the jokes?" And I was like, what do you mean? Nowhere. Uh-huh. He's like, so you're just going to go on stage and do it? And I was like, yeah, isn't that what you do? He goes, what? no. <laughs> like, usually you do, like, five minutes. You try it out. And then we uh, did those two shows, sold out, and then um, the, kind of the rest is history. So it's very cool. Like, at that actual venue, um, the first people that got, got to sign the sellout wall was this guy. So nice. Congrats, man. If you were at the show four years ago, uh, Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you, it was, it was rough, but it was, um, I, it is, there was something funny about the very, it'll, it'll never happen again for any of the shows because that first show, those first, that first night of shows, mm-hmm. nobody knew what to expect. Like legitimately yeah. no, there is, I didn't know what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Nobody in that room knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Even the second show. And then at least like after that, it seemed like, okay, it's there. It's a tour now. They kind of got it together. Got over that hurdle. But I, it was, uh, yeah. So anyway, if you were at those shows, thank you. These shows will be amazing too. October 23rd and 24th, raising money for the Fisher House. Mm-hmm. Uh, go to internjohncomedy.com. You're in the Thought Shower with Intern John. The Thought Shower Social 3. So we ask questions. Where do you ask them, Shelby? You can ask them on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. You know what? You can even email if you want. Don't do email. Okay, don't do email. In, at Intern John Radio. Christy and Glenn Bernie, the dirty Bernie. Hi, guys. I know you talked to nauseam about being best friends. What's it like when you go out and you see the other one get hit on? Oh, um, I think that, I mean, for the most part, it's usually fine. Sometimes when you get hit on, the people come on a little bit strong, and then they want to, like, kind of take over. Like, I, that hasn't been happening, obviously, as much because, you know, of how things are now, you know, because, like, social mm. distancing and stuff. But there would be these times where, like, people would be out with, like, their friends, and then they would take over wherever we were sitting, and it would be super awkward because, like, I would like to sit down, and there would be nowhere to sit. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty fine. I mean. I think for you, I always check to make sure you're okay just because dudes are creepers. Yeah. But for most, most of the time, I get amused, especially if I know – I'm very good at being at a distance when I know my female friends, mainly you, like, you, like you're not having a good time. Yeah, when you know I, I mean? just like want them to go away. Yeah, I'm like, oh, this say. is good. I'm like, oh, this is rich. This, yeah. this is really good. Yeah. But it's the buddy system. Yeah, it is. Like sometimes you will um, try to push my buttons with certain guys that hit on me and be like, yeah, I think that you should go for it. And I'll be like drinking and get annoyed, like, leave me alone. That guy was weird. The best is when our friend uh, Chuck will walk by with a big smile on his face. Yeah. Oh, Ryan does it too. Just, ee, Awkward. Ee. Uh, Chelsea and St. Pete. IJ so. and Sauce, long time thought. Hi. Uh, met you guys at the show two years ago. IJ, I know Chewy is your son. How <laughs> long did it take for you trusted Sauce to watch him? I have a fur baby as well. Aww. Makes me nervous to leave her with somebody else. Um, the know. the first time you started taking him out, was, it wasn't even like you were fully house-sitting. Yeah, no, I was, was just letting just, him out for you. Because the way that hockey season works, it's it's like basically the schedule is either heavy home games, heavy away games. Mm-hmm. This year, in theory, was supposed to be a heavy away game season. Mm-hmm. So like that year you're doing, like I was gone and coming back like 6 p.m. So yeah. that was the thing. So um, for me, yeah, Kayla, who used to work on the show, was the first person to watch Shuey. It just mm-hmm. worked out that Sauce had a car. Yeah. I watched her on camera. The yeah, first time. And yeah. the best way is he came through my garage and refused to go up the stairs. So I, 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 I was watching him like, this girl's not going upstairs. And like, <laughs> and he and Chewy being the ass that he is, no, he knows 
arm length perfectly. He knows just how far he has to stand away so you can almost touch him. Yeah. So that, I mean, I guess that was it. And then um, I just noticed that his interaction with you too. I think I'd be able to tell if there was something up. Yeah. I mean, I just didn't want to be rude and go through your house when you weren't there. And now you go through my kitchen like it's nobody's business. Yeah. Now I do. Yeah. Uh, Kim in Louisville. Hello, my favorite podcast. Oh, thank you. Sauce. I've loved watching your moving drama. Would you <laughs> ever consider a roommate? I'm in the middle of moving as well. Thought the money would help. But I also like the idea of living alone more. Um, I mean, I've been living alone for a while now so that I don't know that I would like a roommate. And I, I know that I'm pretty difficult to live with just because of how particular I am about my stuff. Um, so I think that I don't think anyone would like to live with me, to be honest with you. <laughs> but would you ever consider this for the financial help? Yeah, definitely for the financial help because I've thought about it myself because I have stuff that I have put in that guest room but I've made it so that if I needed to move it into another room or something, the only thing that I wouldn't be able to put anywhere would be the couch. Like, that's the only thing. And I could easily sell the couch. What? <laughs> You're lying to yourself. All Where the, would your giant desk go? That would go next to my dresser in my bedroom. I already me- I literally measured it today. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point. Okay. I'm just saying I have it so that if I need to... I can easily move stuff into my room so that I can get a roommate. Okay. Yeah, so I, I would maybe consider it. To yeah. our friends at Meridian Bank, meridianbanker.com slash Maryland. Anthony Sauce. You need your credit in line. You need mm-hmm. to get your uh, your home loan ready to go. Yeah. Anthony Sauce got you covered. Uh, you yeah. can follow Sauce. At Shelby Sauce. Follow me at Intern John Radio. We'll see you on Friday. 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 Thought Shower online at thethoughtshower.com.